Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Service. Today is May 17th, 2023. My name is Laura Higgs. Today I have with me Tara Brond, who's here to talk to us about the community garden in Surus. Mm. Welcome, Tara. Hi, thank you. So tell me, community garden, how mm -hmm. like how did this idea come out? Come about? Um, right, so I'm a, a sort of newcomer to this area and I'm looking to build community for myself and my family. And I thought gardening would be a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. There was a post on Facebook um, regarding a grant that you could apply for for the community garden. I do a lot of grant writing in my day job, so oh, okay. I thought, you know what, I could do that. And so I wrote a couple of, well, many grants, um, and so hopefully we'll have some money coming in for it. But basically it was a Facebook post that wow. sparked the community, and then we had a great um, sort of inaugural meeting of, of community members that were interested, and um, it just sort of snowballed from there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so um, do you have a place to have the community garden? We have many places, okay. <laughs> actually. It's okay. been really, um, really lovely because we wanted many places. Um, different things grow differently in different areas, mm -hmm. um, but also we wanted different accessibility. So some, you know, some people were wanting to grow stuff that they wanted to have their private plot that, you know, might not be picked by other people, so they wanted to be a bit further away from town. In the actual like town center, we really like to have the community portion. So 50% will be private, 50% will be community. Um, and everybody asks us, well, if you put the plot you know, here, people are going to take the vegetables. And we said, great, that's the whole point. Please take the mm -hmm. vegetables. Um, so we have, a, we have met with um, the Agricultural Society. So we have some opportunities up at the fairgrounds, actually, some land that they're um, sort of not really using and, and have to landscape all the time. So we're going to sort of take it over with garden, I think. Um, and we've proposed some different plans for them that way. Also to help them beautify their site a little bit. So obviously the Agricultural Society is about growing things uh -huh. and, and agriculture. So we're going to add some elements, um, you know, different, different elements to their signage, to their buildings, and sort of make it more of a, a growy place. Mm -hmm. um, then last week we actually went to the municipality, uh, we went to the council and asked them for some specific spots um, and they were very receptive and, and really willing to support us and so um, the what they call like the old nursery um, down across Mm, this is my newcomer mm -hmm. <laughs> self, That's but fine. the old nursery, <clears throat> excuse me, the old nursery, they've offered uh, us to sort of reclaim that and make it in nursery again. And mm -hmm. we've actually applied for some money for edible trees, which would grow really well there. Um, we've also asked them for a spot on Goose Island um, for an indigenous medicinal plants and okay. traditional plants mm -hmm. garden. Um, so we're hoping that comes through. Uh, we've also asked for their support in applying for a really big grant um, that would give us um, like a lot of, of money to build these these uh, plots that we're hoping for. Most people want raised beds, and so that takes some some inventory of wood and things. Mm -hmm. um, and they were gracious, and they will apply on our behalf. We aren't eligible to apply because we're not a registered charity or anything like that. So right. they're going to apply on our behalf, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had all these partnerships brewing, and everything seems to be coming together. And this weekend. And we're actually going to um, get into the dirt, um, as it were, um, and add a private uh, private property that's uh -huh. donated land. So okay. um, that will be one of the education gardens, um, which is part of the 50% community. Nice. Yeah. So um, how are you going to keep the deer out of these community <coughs> gardens? We yeah. have a lot of deer in town. Yes. And, and you know, birds and other animals, yeah, but the and deer that, seem to be... The animals, the wildlife, I mean, as lovely as they are, they seem to be the reoccurring challenge mm -hmm. uh, for our gardening ventures. Um, so I've, I've heard that the deer here are just like a different breed, and they will eat everything, including things you plant Abs to deter them. Absolutely. Um, so we actually have applied for some funding for, for fencing that isn't... I mean, it's, it's fencing, so it's not going to look great all the time, mm -hmm. but we actually have um, thought about, like, removable cages... Uh -huh. So, you know, when, when people are around and we're having events, we could remove the cage and then put it back on as needed. Right. Um, but different fencing options for, for the deer, which would also keep the geese out. Um, that was the number one question about requesting um, land on Goose Island. Is, uh -huh. is called Goose Island for a reason. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, so, so we do have some, some sort of interventions there okay. for the wildlife that are, that are safe and will keep our produce growing uh -huh. and not being nibbled. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be adapt <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have to figure it out absolutely <clears throat> but yeah we've, we've come up with some means that are that are you know it's a fence so it's not super aesthetically pleasing and they're not so inviting but the big garden underneath it will be so, right yeah. for sure
for sure. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a very exciting project. Yeah, we're, we're looking yeah. forward to, yeah, this weekend, we're going to put our first plots in. So those will be educational community plots um, that we will harvest from to do workshops um, or to share with the school, to share with the daycares, to share with the senior center. Um, mm -hmm. And that'll be, you know, the first of many, we hope. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming in and telling us yeah. about the community gardens here in Surus. Perfect. I look forward to uh, to going around and walking past them. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a gardener myself, so I'm excited to uh, reap what other people sow. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be great. It will be. It yeah. will be. And it is wonderful to grow things. It's, it is. It's good for the soul, I think. It is. It yeah, is. Thank you sure. so much. Thank you. Thanks for joining us here at Spotlight in Surus. I hope you have a wonderful day.